Hi guys, Hamster here. I want to talk to you guys about iron sights tonight. And we're talking about iron sights with a BDC or bullet drop compensator. And the two most common types and the biggest um, error people make when trying to set these up and they get frustrated. All right, let's dig into this. We got two main types. We got the fixed carry handle and we got the detachable carry handles. Pretty common people understand that. This is an A2 type setup. This would be an A4 type setup. Um, they both have bullet drop compensators. They're both designed to be zeroed at 300 meters and everything is calibrated in meters. The, two, the big difference between these two, uh, the fixed carry handle has a 6.3 setting and it is adjustable up to 600 meters. Um, that's on the detachable. On the fixed, it's gonna be an 8.3 setting and it's calibrated to go up to 800 meters on the bullet drop compensator. Okay, this is not used for um, zeroing the weapon, zeroing the sights. This is strictly a bolt drop compensator, but there is a role for this to play in the zeroing process, and I'll show you that right now. Um, when you go to zero this, you got two things you gotta do. You gotta do a mechanical zero on your rifle first, and that would be on the rear sights, flipping down the, to the small peep. The small peep is the one gonna be calibrated for 300 meters. The larger peep you can see here, you got the small peep. That's the one you want to use when you're uh, calibrating your rifle. Um, the large peep it usually has a zero to 200. This is this will be calibrated at zero to 200 meters once you set up the small peep, which is the one calibrated for 300 meters. So you'll have a 300 meter zero and you'll have a 200 meter zero on your rifle when you're done. Start out, we got to have this on 300 meters and then mechanically zero the rifle, the sight, to the center, and you will be mechanically zeroed on the rear. On the front, on the front post, let's see here if I can show you this. Um, you wanna have, let's see if I can get this to focus. You wanna bring the front sight until the sight, the base on the post is level with the base of the sight block. That will be a mechanical zero. When those are both level, you can see this one is slightly below because this has been sighted in, I had to go about a turn below mechanical zero. Um, but start off mechanical zero, make this flush, and you should be on paper. The next thing you got to do is you got to set a target up at 25 meters. Has to be set at 25 meters. Uh, 25 meters for us guys here in, in the States is 27.3 yards. So 27.3 yards. Pretty easy to find a location to set a, a target up at 27 yards. A little tougher to find a spot to set a target up at 300 meters. So 27.3 yards or 25 meters, and that will allow you to set this up, and then you can verify it at distance later. Um, elevation on your point of impact is going to be done off your front sight. Front sight adjusts point of impact up and down. Rear sight does windage left to right. Um, before you go to shoot, there is a, set, a position the sight has to be in when it's zeroed. Okay, on the, on the A2 carry handle, you have the A3 setting. When you're all the way down the bottom, it's either, you can see the A3, it's either at 300 meters or 800. Obviously, when the sight's all the way down, and this is turned all the way, it's at the 300. When the sight is all the way up, and it's on the 8, your, uh, the bull drop compensator is set for 800 meters. So when this thing's all the way down on the A3 setting, with A2 fixed carry handle, you need to come up one click past three. That's where you do all your zeroing. Has to be That sight has to be set there when you're setting this up at 25 meters. On the removable carry handle, it needs to come up two clicks from the three setting, from the six three setting. So you come up one, two. Some sights will have it, some don't. You'll see right here, this actually has a small Z, if it will focus on that. A small Z two clicks up which is kind of nice not all, all of them do but all of them need to be set two clicks up so regardless regardless whether it has a Z or not it needs to be up two clicks when you go to sight this in if you don't do that you're gonna have trouble all day long it's not gonna be set up right so you got to be up two clicks on the on the detachable one click on the fixed carry handle you got your target set up 25 meters away you can print these off they're pretty easy to find a 25 meter zeroing target it'll show you right here which way to spin your front sight which way to spin your your rear sight to move the point of impact over it's pretty simple 
Um, rotate your front sight down. If your impacts are low, it will bring your impact up. So lower your front sight to bring your impacts up. Raise your front sight up to lower your impacts down. Pretty simple. And in the same way with the windage adjustment on the back until you get your point of aim, point of impact. So what you should do, your point of aim should be, you're gonna be aiming dead center of the target and you want your rounds to hit inside the circle. This was the first one I did with this carry handle and you can see my impact was a little low. Okay, according to this, I should come up three notches on the front sight. Um, actually took four to get it there, so I had to do one full revolution, so four notches, because these are a quarter turn each notch. So four turns brought me right up to here, I'm right on target, and uh, I didn't really need to do much. I think I went one click um, for windage, and I was done. But uh, if you mechanically zero your target, zero your sights, you should be on the paper, and then this here will give you a rough estimate on uh, your rear sight adjustment, and how many clicks these aren't turns these are each uh, quarter turns each notch so if this says four you want to go four notches on your front sight either up or down depending on where your impacts are on the paper uh, pretty simple but remember if you have the removable carry handle you got to be two clicks up from the 6-3 position on the fixed carry handle you need to be one click up when you're zeroing it and when you do that you're going to be set and then when you're done, you go back down to your three setting, and now your rifle is zeroed for 300 meters. You flip over to your small peep, and, or your large peep, and now you, you your rifle is zeroed for 200 meters. So pretty effective. And the main purpose of this is to engage targets at longer range. Say I have a target at 500 meters. I estimate the range to be at 500 meters. I put this at five, and now I can put my front sight on the target. I don't have to hold you know, three feet over the target to try to take a shot because not now you're you can't even see what you're aiming at you're aiming at sky above it this allows you to uh, estimate range and then dial it in and then hold your front sight right on the target that's what it's designed for so it's a bullet drop compensator but when you're setting these up remember if you don't have a z mark two clicks on the removable carry handle one click on the a2 fixed carry handle and when you're doing your zero procedure um, it will go real quick, real smooth, and then when you're done, remember to go back down, set it back down to three, and your rifle will be zeroed. I mean, verify this at distance, but uh, this is actually a very effective method. Um, if you do this properly, you should have no trouble. The 25 meter will set this, set this up perfectly. But these are not designed to be set up um, with the 50, 200 meter zero or 100 yard zero. If you do that, then then the bull drop compensator will not be effective. This here will be useless. Um, you set it, you know, adjust your elevation, you zero this at 100 yards, this will not be effective. It will not be calibrated. So this is set up for, you know, bullet drop in meters, but it has to be zeroed at 300 meters, and you can do that, you know, at pretty conveniently. If you've got 25 meters, like I said, 27.3 yards, most, you can, most people can find that kind of distance to set this up. You don't need a 300 meter range to, uh, to calibrate this sight. You just need a very short distance, but it's not designed for 100 meter zero or a 5200 zero. This is a setup strictly for a 300 meter zero. And then you have the option with the two peeps of a 200 meter zero or 300 meter zero and the bullet drop compensator. So it's a very effective sight. You just have to know its limitations. It needs to be set up for 300 meter zero. It's in meters, not yards, and uh, that's all there is to it. But remember, you gotta have it in the calibration setting, two clicks up from zero, from three, one click up from three when you're calibrating it, and things will go smooth. That's the biggest mistake guys usually make is forgetting to go those two clicks or one click when they're calibrating it, and they get into trouble. So that's all there is to it. So if you got one, you go out and set it up, and you'll have a good time. It's a very effective site. It, it works. So it's not an issue. So that's all there is to it between the two, between the A2 and the A4 site. Thanks for watching.